Welcome to Extraterrestrial Reality. Uh, just on a recent show, I was pointing out the fact that uh, UFO debunkers are really no different than flat earthers, uh, and that's the truth. Uh, and in this episode, I'm going to bring the receipts, because I am going to prove to you that they are no different than flat earthers today. Uh, of course, this is all uh, comes about because of, you know, the recent uh, reactions to uh, people like Mick West, the uh, biggest UFO debunker of our age, who uh, recently claimed that the reason he will not uh, try to analyze the uh, Las Vegas alien footage uh, and provide his, his opinion on it is because uh, if he does, then he might get sued, and he, and, he, and he harkened back to an episode that happened back in the 1800s when some, uh, some naturalist uh, got sued by, uh, for, for, prevent, for, for uh, prevent, presenting evidence that showed that the earth is round uh, rather than that the earth is flat. So he, what Mick West was trying to uh, say here is that it, what might happen is if he presents a scientific analysis with regard to the Las Vegas alien incident and it doesn't conform with what we've been talking about, here that for some reason he might get sued uh, which is absolutely absurd that's not what would happen i'll talk about what what we were hoping would happen later on uh but i just want to point this out uh, i have the receipts now that shows i have the proof that shows that ufo debunkers including mick west are no different than flat earthers and i, and I, I gotta tell you it was a fortuitous thing because just a couple of days ago uh, uh youtube's algorithm suggested to me to watch uh, a video from some guy named professor Dave, right? And he's some guy that uh, is always combating with uh, actual flat earthers. There are people in this planet, believe me. It's unbelievable as it sounds, right? It's completely ridiculous. People who actually believe the earth is flat. Uh, now, I'm not here uh, to argue with these people. I'm not here to debate them. There is, As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing to debate. I, I will never say anything back to these people. I don't care what they say. right? The, the pe people who don't agree with these flat earthers, they're so out there, right? They'll, they'll, call, they'll call them demons and, and liars and stuff like that, right? I'm not here to, to debate this. It's scientifically proven that the earth is round, right? Uh, but here's what happened just recently, and this is what uh, Professor Dave was talking about on this recent video, uh, which, by the way, was entitled, the title says everything, Flat Earthers are desperately dodging a free trip to Antarctica. Uh, so let's talk about this first. And before I even talk about it, I just want to point it out there. I'm not here to get in an argument with anybody who believes the earth is flat. If that's what you believe, then you're in some kind of a cult. You're, you're some kind of a, in, in some kind of a cult. That's all I got to say. And I, 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 you're wrong and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not here to, to debate you. It's a free country and where I live here in the United States. You could think whatever you want. And if you, wherever you are on this planet, if you want to think it's flat, that's great, right? But I'm not here to argue with that. Most people think you're crazy, right? Including myself. I think it's stupid and dumb. I don't know how you ever went down that rabbit hole in the first place, but I'm not here to talk about you guys. This, this, I'm just here to compare you guys to the UFO debunkers, to the people who, uh, for, for decades now, are saying that there's nothing to this uh, uh, non-human intelligent presence on this planet. That's what I'm here to debate. So I just want to get that out of the way. For all you out there, all you people out there who uh, fancy yourselves as flat earthers, hey, I'm, I'm happy for you continue your your thought process on this continue your beliefs on this that's perfectly fine it's perfectly fine if you want to believe in this i think it's stupid and dumb and silly and a whole bunch of other things right but that's i'm not here to talk about that i'm not here to to you know i'm just here to show you how the how ufo debunkers are like them right but anyway like i said this that was a great uh uh, video that he put together it was over an hour long it was called flat earthers are desperately dodging a free trip to antarctica now what this is all about earlier this year it was in february i believe uh, let me pull my notes out and, and anyway before i even go on i just want to point out what what flat earthers actually what a lot of these people believe they actually believe uh antarctica is actually a huge ice wall uh that surrounds everything else all right we're, we're the whole everything where, where we are right now on, all on the outskirts right the antarctica it surrounds us completely that's what they think all right that's that's how that's that's how they view the world uh i just want to point that out but anyway uh, there was this church pastor from Colorado, uh, Will Duffy, uh, who's been following this flat earth uh, debate. There's a debates going on, believe this. I guess, you know, I guess there will be, you know, there's 2% of the world's population apparently believes that the earth is flat. 2% of the earth's population, that's over 100 million people apparently because uh, there's 8.2 billion people on earth. So there's a, a percentage of people out there that actually really, really believe the earth is flat. 
Now, this Will Duffy, this uh, pastor from Colorado, uh, put together this, uh, what he's calling the, the, the final experiment, right? This would prove once and for all whether the earth is round or whether it's flat. And he, he was putting, putting up the money for, for, uh, for, uh, uh, for, people, for people who believe the earth is a globe and for people who believe that the earth is flat. Putting up money was going to have uh, 24 on each side, 24 people on each side. That was his original plan, was to uh, fly them out to Ant Antarctica from the l lowest point of, Ch uh, of South America in, in southern uh, in Chile would be the lowest tip at the end of at the bottom of South America. Fly them uh, a four and a half hour flight right to Antarctica, and uh, in December, right, and in in uh, during the winter during the summer months in Ant Antarctica, which is like from December through into February, uh, the the sun doesn't go down. Now the the whole flat earthers models uh, uh, they believe that the sun would set. The sun will still set if you if you go to Antarctica. The sun will set, and that will prove their hypothesis that the Earth is flat. So all of, there's a lot of people uh, uh, on the globe side, the globe people who believe it's a globe, who know actually not. I mean, let me rephrase that. The people who know it's actually a globe, right? They're 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 all willing to go down. There was a lot. There was people that said, yeah, okay, we'll go, and they're all going to go all at the same time. They're all going to sta stay there for like four days uh, in in the month of December, and uh, this was the plan, and and. They're, they'll go there and they'll see whether or not the sun sets and and the people who believe the earth is a globe after it's all said and done if the earth if the if the sun actually sets while they're in antarctica they'll they'll get rid of all of their youtube videos they'll they'll say that they were completely wrong and 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 the debate will be over they'll they'll agree then that the earth is flat uh and guess what happens right a lot of these flat earthers won't do it won't do it some of them come on coming up with absurd reasons why they won't do it some of them are saying that they'll put up a phony sun in the sky right there's this guy flat earth dave who thinks that uh people shouldn't even try to do it because he, anybody who who uh, doesn't believe in this he thinks they're demons or, or liars that's what he calls them right uh and you know, it's just so rotten to call people demons, to call other fellow human beings demons. You know, really, you have to wonder who the real demon is there, Dave. You know, you got to really wonder. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> it's a terrible thing to say. But uh, uh, what I'm, what the thing about it is, is that a lot of them are trying really hard not to go down. And the ones that have agreed to go down, they got bombarded by criticisms from people who are other fellow fat flat earthers, saying, "Oh, they're just, they're, they're, they're not, they're, tr you know, tricksters, or they're, they're just, uh, they're, they're really not flat earthers, and all this kind of nonsense." You know, and, and another thing, uh, it's, it was also su suggested that uh, by some of these flat earthers that even if the sun uh, doesn't go down, I still won't change my mind. So. They don't believe in science. They're just in this. They, they want to believe the Earth is flat for some reason. They just believe it, even though it's not true. All of us out there know that the Earth is not flat. But they don't. They won't even. A lot of them will not participate in this in this experiment they, uh, because if they do, they're afraid that they'll be proven wrong, and they don't want to be proven wrong. And that's why they're not going down there. A lot of them. Now, at this point right now, there's only three people uh, from who are flat Earthers that have agreed to go down. Whether that happens or not, we don't know yet. Uh, some people say that. That it's not going to happen that at least two of them are going to drop out before it happens because uh they're that's just how this they're, they're afraid that they're going to be uh uh you know made fun of and called liars and everything else if if they go down there and and the sun doesn't uh seem to doesn't set for them so it's absolutely absurd here's a chance for them to find out the end this debate once and for all in this final experiment put together by this uh by this pastor will duffy and he won't do it and it's just a shame uh, and it's 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 insane, actually, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, for one thing, the the, the Earth isn't flat. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, I thought there was a, a really a funny comment here from Professor Dave. It's actually Dave Farina, and uh, he says here, anyone who actually believes the this is during the video, and I'll leave the link for his video so you could check this out, whole thing out, so you can see how this whole thing is playing out for yourself, how ridiculous it is. But anyway, toward the end of the video, he says something like this. He says, anyone who actually believes the Earth is flat would definitely want to be there to personally prove it and rub it in the faces of the flat earth debunkers who also will be there and have to uh, react to the devastating result in real time.
Therefore, any flat earther who was declining this fully funded trip knows that the earth isn't flat. End of story. Exactly. The people that aren't, uh, these, these, supposed, these supposed flat earthers who are declining to go on this trip, uh, which will prove once and for all whether the earth is round or whether it's flat, uh, based on whether the sun sets or not, they're not. They're, the reason they're declining is because they know it's round. They're, they're just. They're just. It's a grift. It's. A, it's. It's a bunch of games that they're playing with people, filling their heads with with nonsense. Or they just. You know, who knows? Who knows what really happened with the flat earthers? I mean, maybe when they were kids, they. You know, in, initially, initially thought, oh man, the wor the world must be flat, and then they found out it was round, and they didn't like it, right? So you know what? You know, I'm gonna still say it's flat, and they just grew up that way. Who knows how this happens? Who knows how someone goes insane like this? But it happens, right? There's a lot of people in this world. And again, I'm not here to fight with the with the flat earthers. I'm here just to point out how they are no different and how, excuse me, how UFO debunk debunkers are no different than the flat earthers. And this takes us right back to what I was talking about before with uh, Mick West and the rest of the debunkers. You know, back in July, I, let's, 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 let's go there. Uh, I actually pointed out the Las Vegas alien uh, evidence uh, online on, on X, Twitter X. And uh, I pointed it out to this uh, Louis Cayetano, uh, him and his uh, his uh, colleague uh, Vincente Juan Ballester almost had published a paper which was completely absurd uh, that tried to debunk the whole UFO and alien uh, phenomenon. And if you read this, I, I left links for it for that uh, podcast, and I'll leave links for it again. Uh, you could read this stuff for yourself. And uh, uh, I, 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 I commented to him on his Twitter feed. I said, uh, and I, I sent him a link to the letter that I had sent to the Pentagon back in June. I said, here's a better paper to read. It tells a decidedly different story. And the great part about it, it discusses proof. You're on the wrong side of history, bub. And this Cayetano got back to me. He says, this is a blanking joke, right? This is your proof? A confused family and blurry images showing a vague likeness to a media perpetuated motif for what aliens look like proves aliens are visiting us well i gotta just stop there and i pointed this one out before uh you know it's interesting that he says a vague likeness to a media perpetuated motif right well it's it's a pretty strong likeness for one thing but he's at least he's admitting to it right he's seeing the likeness in the video he's seeing it with his eyeballs and he the guy doesn't understand that there's there's those uh likenesses throughout that video as i've been showing on this channel over the last uh, six months plus and i wrote back to him i said actually you're a joke and you just proved it pontification without any investigation whatsoever you're a bunch of hucksters living in a land of make-believe you just dismissed the case out of hand because your mind has already been made up and then he responded lewis that says your proof is garbage this is the toilet paper you rely on to build your quote case end quote it's actually pitiful and then i said uh, again to him i said disprove it then come on disprove it tell us why i'm wrong instead of throwing out words des designed to simply damage my character why don't you instead buckle down and provide a real analysis that proves that you're right and then he responded saying no need to disprove that which shows no proof of what you're saying so uh, that was uh, back then, that was in June, and that was Louis Cayetano, a debunker, more of a lower level, not as known as, as someone like Mick West. This guy doesn't, you know, <laughs> he, uh, he's not as, you know, smart, I guess, but I try to be nice about it. He's not as smart uh, as someone like Mick West. Uh, but Mick West isn't that much smarter either, to be quite honest with you. But anyway, he he they won't even try to scientifically refute something uh, that was put forth by uh, people who was uh, who are video analysis experts like Scott Roeder and his team, who who said that the video was not tampered with and the uh, that the beings in that video were actually really there. Uh, so if the video is not tampered with and, and, and you have a family contacting uh, police calling 911 to report that there's alien creatures in their backyard and there's a video taking of it that taken of it that we look at later and we see, okay, they're obviously alien creatures just like the family was saying and the video wasn't tampered with, there's only one conclusion. The family was telling the truth and there were uh, creatures in the backyard that were non-human intelligent beings. That's the, that's the truth, right? But see, these people don't even want to look at it. Instead, they call it toilet paper just like what's happening with the flat earthers right now the flat earthers right now a lot of them will not go down to antarctica because they don't want to disprove their hypothesis right they don't want to that's the last thing in the world they would want to do 
just like the debunkers, the UFO debunkers, Mick West. Now, Mick West, uh, just uh, last week, he, he said this on Twitter. He says, I'm not going to analyze this video of a shadow behind, he calls it a shadow behind a fence, that some people think is a cloaked alien, even though I was offered $5,000 to do so. Why turn down easy money? One reason is that it's taking advantage of someone's honest mistake, but really it seems unlikely to be something that would end well. Compare with the story of Alfred Russell Wallace and the Flat Earthers. Yes, Alfred Russell Wallace was this uh, English uh, environmentalist or something from the 18, 1800s. And in 1870, he, he needed money, so he took this challenge from some flat earthers, and he showed them, they, they did an experiment, he showed that the earth is round, and then he ended up uh, having to uh, face lawsuits for, for the rest of his life. That's not what would happen here. That is not the intention whatsoever. The intention was this, Mick, just so you know. The intention was to get you to look at this to finally... Uh, come to your senses that was the intention that was the hope that was the the best hope that a lot of us had was for you to look at this vegas a alien evidence right and then realize that uh, admit that there is uh things going on in this video uh that are it's un they're unexplainable uh, other than to say that there is anomalous activity at least admit to that point because that's what's going on there if the video is not tampered with and you see all the instances in that video that shows what looks like alien creatures appearing and disappearing through out this one minute and 41 second long video uh you would have to admit the truth of the matter is is that there are there were things there just like those family members had stated uh or what the other hope was was that you would come out with a bogus scientific analysis that we could easily tear apart that would that would be it i would just all we would do would be make a fool more of a fool out of you than we already are that's i mean that if you were to come out with a bogus report like you you know you come out with stuff about the gimbal about why the the tilt and all that you, you make all these uh uh you, you do all these recreations to show how it's possible you see that's the whole thing you wouldn't be able to do it with this and you know it you know it and that's why you stay away from it. And that's why you're, you're, you're no different. All these debunkers, they're no different than the flat earthers out there. Not one bit, not one bit different. They're doing the same thing that the flat earthers are doing right now. They will not uh, try to analyze that Vegas, Vegas alien video because they know if they do that their whole shtick comes to a crashing conclusion. That's the bottom line here. And that's why they won't do it. Same reason why all these uh, flat earth people won't uh, travel to Antarctica free of charge too, free of charge they won't travel there because if they do it's going to end the it's gonna, their, their whole hypothesis comes comes to a crashing conclusion not for all of them I, for flat earth dave for instance he says he still will won't believe that the earth is round he'll still think it's flat no matter that means his hypothesis is his hypothesis that he, that the model that they're basing their hypothesis on right now is wrong and they'll have to make some adjustments to it or something to that effect right it's completely bogus just like these people completely bogus right and uh, I just want pe people need to know that uh, this is the proof. This shows you, right? This is proof. Ladies and gentlemen, this is proof that UFO debunkers are just like flat earthers. They're just like them. And again, no disrespect to the flat earthers out there. I don't want to argue with you guys. I know you, some of you will probably, probably find this, uh, find this uh, podcast and you're going to be very, very, very angry about it. And that's, that's okay. But hey, I'm okay with you thinking that. Go, I'm not here to argue with you. I, I don't care. This is just my opinion. You know how you have your opinion? I have my opinion too. I, I believe in the, in the scientists when it comes to this one, right? When it comes to the earth is round and a lot of, a, a myriad of other reasons why, right? A myriad of other reasons why your whole hypothesis stinks and is stupid. I mean, but that's just my, that, that's my opinion, right? That's just my, don't, you know, you could go on with life in life, believe in other things. That's perfectly fine. And as far as for the UFO debunkers uh, go, you see everyone out there should see see right everybody else again 98 percent of the rest of the world right they they think that the world is round right only two percent think it's flat so the 98 percent of the that's who i'm trying to get to right now that's who i want them to i want those people to know right you you got to see what's going on here the ufo debunkers who for decades have been uh you know de you know they're they're one of the reasons there's a stigma hanging over this thing right they're the ones they're, they're the one of the biggest reasons people get ridiculed over this actually it's those people who should be ridiculed because they're afraid they're afraid to provide a scientific analysis to to the proof that has been presented proof that we've been waiting for for a long time proof that the people in the ufo community have been uh, wanting for a long time proof that we could shove in their face and say look at that look at that look at that yeah because let's let, let's let's face it right if mick west were to do an analysis on this vegas alien 
case? What, what, how is he going to do it? What would he do? How is he going to explain it away? Is he going to, uh, how, how, what kind of experiment would he be able to, to do to show that, oh, if you move a flashlight this way and that way, it creates an alien face hovering in space? Right, and how's he going to explain that? Uh, for instance, that would be for the the face that appears above the fence. How, is that how he's going to explain it? How's he going to explain the 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 movement of the creature that that chased them out of the yard? How's he going to explain that? How's he going to explain you be the undeniable backbreaker? How's how, what what kind of explanation would he be possibly be able to come up with that would explain that away? That would show us that it it really wasn't a little gray alien that we're seeing there. It's something else because of this, that, this, that, and this and that. How's he going to do it? How's he going to talk about the creatures inside the cab those faces that we see multiple different faces why how's he going to talk how's he going to explain it away <sighs> think about it he wouldn't be able to do it you he couldn't do it and that's why they're staying away from it this is why the pentagon won't respond to this because they can't they can't it's too much it was too good it was just too good we had the object coming down from the sky uh, we had the 911 call. We have the, the video from the family. We have the comments from the family after the fact. It's too much. It's too much. There's just too much evidence there. that it, The weight of that evidence just takes it over the finish line. Right, and there's no way that he could debunk it. Of course, it was easy for someone like Mick West, you know, last year or the year before, whenever it was, when he when he uh, uh, promoted that incredibly ridiculous uh, uh, explanation that was put out by some guy from the United Kingdom that tried to say that the what those kids in, in Zimbabwe back in 1994 really uh, saw was uh, puppets uh, from a traveling puppeteer show. Right? I mean, you could we knew then how disingenuous and 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 dishonest honest Mick West was at that point by pre by presenting that hypothesis he never really presented his own hypothesis when t when asked about the turkey ufo videos right what did he say there oh oh they they were disproven weren't they yeah see he can't even go there he can't what what, what could he do what could he do he can't they can't do it they won't touch the really good stuff they they go for the easy stuff uh and because they just want people to keep believing in them that's what they want they're disingenuous they're dishonest and they're no different than flat earthers you have the proof now i highly recommend uh if you're out there uh and you're interested in uh, what what what's been going on in this battle between uh uh people who believe the earth is a globe and people who believe it's flat if you want if you're interested in that i'm i'm really not right i'm not interested i don't want to talk about this i don't want to talk about flat earth ever right i'm just pointing out the fact that these people are there's no difference between them there is absolutely no difference between them they're the same kind that they, they, they will they, when when you ha pro pro provide an avenue to finally uh show them to prove to them right where they could prove to themselves when they could prove to themselves what reality is and what reality is not they, they'll they'll stay they'll get away don't get it away from me i don't want to you're, you're a demon you're a demon right that's what you get instead Anyway, uh, and I also want to point out um, uh, that I, uh, I I'm going to have uh, you know I'm continuing in, if in the Spotify polls I'm asking who's you know every episode for the last few episodes five episodes four or five episodes and including this one will be six I guess uh, I'm asking I've been asking questions uh, about whether certain debunkers are are uh, stupid. Or lying and today's uh person that we're gonna have on there is bill nye the science guy he's someone for for a long time who uh pretends like there's nothing to this alien presence that there's not enough proof and uh so today that's going to be his so uh for if you're interested in voting on that i'm going to be doing a show pretty soon uh about this just on this stupid and lying and so I'm, that's going to be today's question uh for this episode uh, today will be is Bill Nye the science guy stupid or lying when it comes to the UFO slash uh, extraterrestrial slash NHI phenomenon uh, anyway uh, yeah I want to say uh, I, uh, I'm gonna this is gonna be a shorter show today I just want to say thank you all for joining me today until next time